Hi friends, so in this video I will be explaining about electrolysis of water. If you are going and presenting uh, any science project in any science exhibitions, definitely you should know the complete details of what is all about electrolysis of water. So we should understand what is all about electrolysis of water. The electrolysis of water is nothing but a process. It is a process where by using electricity, if you can see right, we are using a battery which is of 9 to 12 volts of a battery which is an electricity being used to split the water which is H2O into an hydrogen and a oxygen. That is the overall process of a electrolysis of water. During electrolysis of water, there will be a reaction which will happen in the water because we have a two electrodes we have inserted into a water. Uh, during electrolysis of water, hydrogen is normally produced. If you can see right, we have more bubbles are coming at the hydrogen side which is a cathode the, and oxygen which is produced we call it as a anode. Anode is nothing but a positive and cathode is nothing but a negative terminal. Next question normally they will be asking during your presentation is which chemical you will be using for electrolysis of water. So normally we can be using a sulfuric acid or a salt we can use to perform an electrolysis of water. Then somebody can ask you what is the purpose of this battery in electrolysis of water experiment. The purpose of the battery here uh, to drive the reaction. Battery it generates an electricity and it travels through a two pencil. If you can see right, whenever we switch on this one, the power or electricity will be moving from one uh, electrode to an another electrode. That's where the electrolysis of water happens. Whenever we are trying to perform this experiment, we would be required to add a salt. Then why do we require to add salt here is because salt acts as an electrolyte to conduct electricity through this water. Then uh, how can we guarantee that there is an electrolysis is happening? When there is an electrolysis is happening, we will be seeing bubbles in the both the electrodes that would guarantee that this experiment is very successful. What is the balanced equation for this electrolysis of water project that is 2H2O is split it into 2H2 plus 1O2 that is the balanced equation for this science experiment. So another question you might get it is which battery contact which electrode produces more gas. So if you can see here in this picture itself you can see more bubbles which is coming from hydrogen. Less bubbles are coming from oxygen. That means the more gas is producing at the hydrogen side compared to oxygen side. So what are the advantages of electrolysis of water? We might be using this experiment somewhere practically in some organization or some factories or some place which can be used somewhere. Electrolysis of water which is being used around 5% of hydrogen gas is being produced worldwide by using this electrolysis. That is one advantage. Being This experiment being used to generate oxygen at International Space Station. That is also an another application this electrolysis being used. Who invented the electrolysis? Electrolysis is invented by Michael Paraday. So I am hoping you guys got a clear idea what is all about electrolysis of water, how to answer various questions which will be asked for you for this science experiment. If you guys really like this video, then please give a thumbs up to this video. If you guys are not subscribed, then do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.